this is a note on installing the navigation program QT VLM onto a Macintosh Macintosh computer. And uh, you find the right page here. Just It's easy to find. Just Google QT VLM. You get to their home page. Uh, there is some uh, documentation. You can read the manual. And on the first page of the manual, it tells you how to install you know, for the Mac or for the PC, you know, for the Mac, we're just going to drag a folder into the uh, folder into the uh, applications. Um, and we're going to manually drag it ourselves. Um, the, one of the nice things about the program is it has all of the all of the contents within one folder. Both Mac and PC is the same. So if you want to delete it, you just delete that folder. If you want to back it up, you just compress that folder and put it somewhere. Okay, so we go to the downloads here. The download. This is a straightforward. I think there's no, maybe no need for instructions, but let's just do it. We're going to download the latest, then we'll come back and look at the process for updating a new one uh, here. Uh, I mean, updating a beta. The new beta has a lot of very interesting things in it, and that'll be in the. You'll be downloading the regular. That is a regular one very shortly. Okay, so Mac OS, we take that one. And now let's see, downloads, it's that one. Do we say again here maybe? Okay, we say it once more. Okay, so there we go and we're downloading that. And that's how is that going? Uh, okay, so let me just, uh, I can uh, pause that uh, because I have the file already. So let me pause that. And that's in our downloads here. That's the one it's doing. Here's the one I just did. So then you just open, double click that one. Okay, and then here's the file that comes up. You can click this, but then you have to go make the folder. But what we want to do is we want to just drag this. Everything's in this folder here. And so we want to just drag this into the applications. So you can go into the applications folder and just drag this folder in here. Okay, and there it is. That's uh, okay. So that and then we're basically done. Then you can open this folder here, and here's the app. And then we run it. And then after you run it, I would just go down and either uh, let's see, QD is an application. Okay, open. Go ahead and do that, and then just pin it to the taskbar. All right. So what's this? T Oops. Excuse me. What's this asking us? English. Yes, go ahead with English. And whoa, it did full screen. Let me get back into the video realm of we're recording a video here. Well, let's see. Is it going to let me do? Maybe it won't let me change that here. No, it won't. So it says set, select existing charts folder, charts missing. We want to download. You want to download those charts. Okay, that's to 102 uh, megabytes, and th this is not nautical charts. This is the uh, background, uh, high resolution uh, vector background that's used. It's a, a common one. I can maybe show you. In a, well, I'll show you in a moment, actually. Uh, that's used by uh, many navigation programs. Okay. So again, these are. This is just. Uh, you have to do that. You only have to do this once. And once that's done, now it's uncompressing. Okay, so now can I make the... Okay, now let me get back into the realm of... Uh, that's it. The program's installed. And oh, not quite. Let me go back here. Okay, so it's installed. And then I'm going to follow up. I've got, again, there's a PC version of this. And... Um, and I'm not talking about the use of the program yet. We have a lot of videos on that. Uh, this is a day-night terminator, uh, which is for, you know, you can see where it's dark and where it's light. But you, there may be occasion to shut that off. It doesn't matter right now. Okay. Okay. I think I'll, I think I'll stop at this point and then go on with some other uh, videos related to this uh, very shortly.